OptiMiner, Zcash AMD GPU Miner, and Linux. These days I really feel like I'm in the middle of a game of Pong, from one miner to another miner, back and forth, back and forth. Hopefully all of this madness stops soon and we can just keep using the miner we want to use. But today the story is not about either of these miners, today it's about OptiMiner, or Zcash. This is a new miner for Zcash that has come out. It is a closed source miner and it does have a dev fee, so keep that in mind. The expected speeds are 120 solutions per second for an RX 470, 135 solutions per second for an R9 290, and 175 solutions per second for an R9 Nano. It's very easy to install, so I'm just going to go ahead and download it. I'll click on clone or download and download zip. Then I'll save the file. OK. Once the download completes, I'll open the containing folder and then I'll extract the archive. Go into the folder and I'm going to use 0 0.3.0, .0, so I'm going to extract that archive and go into that folder. And here is our miner right here. So I'm going to create a text document and I'm going to call it Start. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to right click on that, go to Properties permissions and then click allow executing file as program. Now I'll open this file. I'm going to go back to the GitHub page, scroll down and copy the command to run the miner. I'll paste that into my start document and then I'm going to change my server from EU to CN. You can use EU, CN, US. I'm going to change my address here. I'll copy my address dot rig name and copy that over the example address and rig name. Then I'm going to change my password to Z or Z for FlyPool. If you're using a different pool, just set it up for your pool. I'll save that file, close the file. Then I'm going to open a terminal from the folder, type in dot backslash start and hit enter. That'll start the miner. It's a little bit slow to get started, so just be patient. Give it some time to load up all of your GPUs. Now it's mining away. You'll see it pick up speed quickly. 656 solutions per second. 705 solutions per second. So it gives me near 700 solutions per second on this rig. This is 6480s. I was getting 500 solutions per second with Silent Army 5. So this is approximately a 200 solutions per second increase. Now I did have some problems with it on this particular rig. It was either crashing once in a while or dropping two or three of my six GPUs. On my other rigs I've not had such a problem so you're going to have to keep an eye on this if you're running it. Make sure that it's not crashing. Make sure it's not dropping any GPUs. If it is you might want to go back to Silent Army 5. If not and you're having success with this, watch your pool. Make sure the shares are coming in. Keep using it. And here's the same rig a little while later. It's up to 760, 750 solutions per second. But again, for this rig, until I can figure out why it's crashing, I'm just going to leave it on Silent Army 5. I don't want mine crashing and then losing all my solutions per second while I sleep, that kind of stuff. And here is my 7470 rig, and you can see it's around. 770, 750 solutions per second right now after it's just starting it up. So that's about 200 plus solutions per second compared to the 550 I was getting with Silent Army 5 before. Now on this rig it is running fine. It's been running solid for hours. So as long as it's going to run stable, it doesn't crash, I'll keep using this. If I have any problems with the rig and it crashing, I'll just go back to Silent Army 5 for now and wait to see if this gets an update or if Silent Army gets an update. Here you can see a little bit of time after it's getting close to 800 solutions per second. Try it out. If it works for you, you can try to use this. Just watch your shares on your pool and make sure it's all going well. So
So I hope you like this video. I hope it helped and thanks for watching.